So welcome, Jose, welcome. Good night, how are you? Cool. Perfect, you? I'm really good, thank you for asking. So I said, well, um, some of your class may tell me that they, well, they have inconvenience with the storm, so there is no electricity, so they cannot connect today. So some of you are not going to be here tonight, okay? Uno de ustedes, debido a la tormenta, se han quedado sin luz, right? Me están escribiendo que no van a poder estar hoy, right? But congrats, you are here, okay? So al menos estamos aquí, right? So hello, Maria, how are you? Hi. Hello. Hi, Maria. How are you? Okay, perfect. So now, guys, you know, today, well, you know, before starting, let me tell you that today we are going to finish unit number five. Okay, once I terminate unit number five. And tomorrow, guys, is the last day, okay? Mañana es el último día. So tomorrow, we are going to see, you know, topics that we haven't seen so far. And we are going to make the exam, okay? Tomorrow, we are going to make the exam. So something that we were told, algo que fuimos, que nos dijeron, es de que para mañana, chicos, ya debe ser terminado todo, okay? Para mañana, eh, after the class, después de la clase, Eh, bueno, tenemos hasta medianoche, right? Para terminar todos los ejercicios, right? All the exercise must to be finished, okay? Tomorrow, okay? So because of that, tomorrow, we are going to make the exam, okay? The exam, we are going to make it, and we are going to finish today unit number five, okay? So just to keep in mind, okay? Solo para tener en, en mente, okay? Y de que debemos, debemos de pasarlos todos con 800%, okay? Well, eight. 80%, right? Con el 80% de las actividades, right? So let's see, guys. So, you know, before to start tonight, let me show you this little exercise that I have here for you guys. So this is about time, okay? So let's see. We have, you know, these clocks that are here, and we have to guess what is the current one, okay? So, for example, we have the first one, 20 to 2. Well, 20 to 2. It's 20 a la 2, right? So if we look at the example here, so we have we have to guess it, right? So if you see here, 20 to 2, right? We have this one. This one is the correct answer here, okay? 20 to 2, okay? Now we have to guess the other one. So we have 315. So let's see. What is the correct answer, chicos? ¿Cuál es la correcta aquí? 315. Letter A. Letter, letter A. <laughs> Sorry. Letter, letter E. Letter E, yeah. Oh, yeah, letter E. So, guys, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, okay? So, 3.15, last Tracy Kings, right? Perfect. Now we have this one. 10 after 10. So, what do you think, guys? ¿Cuál creen que es la correcta? 10 after 10. 10 después de la 10. Which one, guys? Letter A. Okay. So 10 after 10. Look at the picture. Veamos el reloj. 10. 10, right? La 10 después de la 10. 10 después de la 10, right? So if we don't know how to use this clock, guys, but we are going to learn here, okay? Si no sabemos... ¿Cómo se leen estos relojes, guys? Aquí vamos a aprender, right? So now, perfect. So we have this one. 220. 220. So what is the answer, guys? 220. Letter C. Okay, letter C. 220 means 2 y 20, right? 2 y 20. C. Perfect. Now, 355. 355. Las tres y cincuenta y cinco. Which one, guys? ¿Cuál es la correcta? Letter G. G, let's see, three, fifty-five. 
Yeah, exactly. If you look at the picture, yeah, this is three, yeah, 55. Perfect. 645. What is the correct answer? 645. Oops, sorry. 645. Letter D. Okay, letter D. 645, las 6 y 45. Now, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. So, letter here. B. Yeah, it's B. And the last one, 5 past 10, las 5, pasada las 10. Letter H, right? So, perfect, guys. So, this is, you know, the clouds, right? How you know how to understand them. But you see, guys, um, let me show you, let me share you something else, okay? An extra exercise that I have here for you, okay? So let's see, how, where do I have it? So here. Uh, so let's see. Here, guys. So guys, here I have, this is a listening exercise, okay? This is an exercise that I have here for you. As soon as you see the listening, que aprendamos, you know, listen, right? Listening. So this one is very easy. It's bastante fácil, okay, chicos? So vamos a escuchar la hora, okay? So I want everybody to take your pen, seal, or pen, and your notebook. Quiero que todos agarremos nuestro cuadernito, lapiz o lapicero que tengamos, y anotemos la hora que escuchemos, okay? La hora que escuchemos. So... If you have it, guys, please uh, take it, please. Tomemos nuestro cuaderno y lápiz y escuchemos la hora. For example, we have this. How do you say this is in English? This hour. Let's see. Hello, Juan. Juan, sí. can you tell me how do you say this hour, please? Uh, it's 10 in quarter. Ten quarter, yeah, that's a very good way to say it. Ten quarter or ten fifteen, right? Yes, y quince. Perfect, nice. So now, guys, let's you know take an example about this. Escuchemos, okay? So let's see. One. Excuse me, what's the time? Uh, it's ten fifteen. Okay. Excuse me, what's the time? Is ten fifteen, right? Es el primero, right? Ahora vamos a ver el segundo, okay? Let's please listen. Thanks. Two. Do you have the time? Let me see. Yeah, it's 10 after 2. 2 10. Thanks. Okay. 10 after 2, 2 10. So, 2 10, right? So please write, okay? Escribo en su cuadernito, okay? Escriban en su cadernito porque después necesito que me envíen la foto, ¿ok? De sus respuestas, ¿ok? So, now let's see. Number three, guys. Please pay attention. Three. What time is it now? Hey, it's exactly 12 o'clock. Midnight. Happy New Year. Ok. So, what do you think, guys? It's exactly 12 o'clock. Midnight, 12 o'clock, okay, 12 o'clock. Now let's see. Four. Can you tell me the time, please? Yeah, it's 11.30. Wow, I'm late. Thanks. Okay, number four, 11.30, right? Nice. Now let's see number five. Five. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's a quarter to four. Thanks a lot. It's a quarter of four, okay? Quarter of four. Quarter of four or 3.45, right? Now let's see. Six. I'm late again. What time is it now? It's 7.50. Class starts at eight. I've only got 10 minutes. Okay. So, let's see, guys. What is the last time that you heard? Let's see. It's 7.50. 7.50, right? 7.50. So, perfect, guys. So, now, guys, um, I hope all you get this one. Okay. Espero que todos hayamos entendido. 
If not, it's okay. If not, the it's okay, okay? So, but if you got at least one, you can send it, okay? So I want you to take the picture, okay? Necesito que tomen una foto um, a los resultados que tienen y la envíen al grupo WhatsApp, okay? But, 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 chicos, pónganle su nombre, okay? Pónganle su nombre a la foto, okay? Para yo identificar eh, quién es de quién, okay? So pónganle su nombre y envíen sus respuestas, okay? So, perfect, guys. Now let's see. Well, that's, that was a very interesting, you know, exercise, guys. So let's see what else do we have. Okay, let me show you something that I have as well for you guys. Let's see. Uh, let's see no. Okay, so please guys send the picture to the WhatsApp group, okay? So let's see, I have another exercise. Let me open it for you, let's see. Here, I have it. Okay. So guys, let me show you this one for you, okay? Let's see. Oh, I don't know what look for it okay so guys i have this exercise here for you so you are going to help me with this one, okay it's something that we have seen so far guys del tema que hemos estado viendo right so let me share you for you one second it's slurry okay <laughs> está cargando so let's see um okay very nice. Okay, I got your time here. Okay. So guys, here I have this exercise, okay? So let me share you this one. Okay, so this is something that we have seen, okay? It's algo que hemos estado viendo, right? So in this case, guys, uh, we are going, you know, to make some questions, okay? So this is a question, right? So guys, I need you to help me with this, okay? So this is simple, well, it's uh, gerunds, right? It's present continuous or progress, right? So do you remember how to create a sentence, a question? Nos acordamos cómo crear una pregunta con el presente continuo, chicos. So recordemos, tenemos aquí you, my favorite dish tonight. So qué iba primero, chicos, para formar una pregunta? Qué iba primero antes del you? Mm -hmm. Subject. Yeah, yeah. In this case, all right. Perfect, Maria. Yeah. So in this case, subject is as the you, right? But este es para formar una pregunta, okay? Para formar una pregunta, primero va a ir el verbo to be. En este caso, como tenemos you, sería are. Perfect. Are you? Y luego, chicos, qué seguía? Y otro okay. verbo, right? Yeah, en este caso va el verbo en ing, ¿ok? Este es el verbo normal, pero vamos a ocupar el verbo en ing porque estamos ocupando el verbo to be, ¿ok? Y como es progresivo, tenemos esto. Are you cooking my favorite dish tonight? So let's see. Perfect, got it, guys. So now let's see. Let's see another example, ¿ok? Uy, sorry. So tenemos esto, chicos. Tenemos esto que es una oración, right? So let's see. My best friend Carlos. Okay. Carlos. So Carlos, for Carlos, guys, ¿qué verbo vamos a ocupar por Carlos? Vamos a ocupar después el verbo to be, right? Pero ¿cuál sería? Am um, or is? Which one? Is. is. Carlos is perfect. Y dice at university. ¿Cuál creen que sería, chicos? ¿Cuál verbo? Study. Study. This one. Ok. Study. Study. Which one? ¿Cuál? Studying. Studying. Perfect. Porque es ING, right? So my best friend Carlos is studying at the university. Mi mejor amigo Carlos está estudiando en la universidad. He... Which one wants? 
He waiting. He in this case he wants to be a teacher. Él quiere ser un profesor, okay? Recordamos el simple present, guys, que le agregamos S a los verbos, okay? Aquí es porque ocupamos el verbo to be y el verbo en ing, right? Pero aquí, como aquí ya no ocupamos el verbo, el progressive, sino que ocupamos el simple, a los verbos, los sujetos que sean he, she, and it, le vamos a agregar al verbo que le sigue una S, okay? So, now guys, let's see this one. So, my sister Claudia. So, esta es una pregunta al principio. So, my sister Claudia. Which one, guys? ¿Cuál creen? My sister. Yeah. Is my sister. Perfect. Is my sister Claudia. ¿Cuál, guys? Is... Yes. Playing. Playing. Perfect. Is my sister Claudia playing? Porque playing es el único verbo que está en ING, right? Y como estamos ocupando el verbo to be, recuerden, ING. No, she. Aquí es negativo, isn't. Perfect. No, she isn't or she is not, right? Perfect, guys. Now let's see. We have this one. It's another question. Es otra pregunta, chicos. ¿Cuál va de primero? Are. Are. Nice. Are you? Now, guys. Watching. Watching. Perfect. Are you watching TV with your cousin? Okay. Estás viendo películas con tu primo. Very nice. Now, let's see the last one. Let's see this one. Carlos is not here because he... Carlos no está aquí porque él... He, what do we need here? ¿Qué necesitamos aquí, chicos? To swim in. What? What? To swim in. To yeah. swim in. This one. Esta. Same thing, Okay. And what about the rest? ¿Qué pensamos los demás? To swim in. Because he, to swim in. Yes. Okay, so let me help you. Carlos is not here because, porque él, ahora chicos, vamos a crear una oración con a uh, present progressive. So, teníamos que poner el sujeto, ok? El sujeto lo tenemos aquí, he. Luego va el verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be is. para he? Is. is. Perfect. Y recordemos que después del verbo to be, iba el verbo, pero en ing. Sí. So, oh, swimming. swimming. Yeah. Carlos is not here because he is swimming in the pool. Él no está aquí porque él está nadando en la piscina, okay? The pool, pool, piscina. So perfect, guys. So, well, tell me, guys, how do you feel about this exercise? ¿Cómo se siente? Do you believe that you know about the present progressive, guys? ¿Creen que dominamos el, el, el present progressive, guys? El presente progresivo, yes, no. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a, a, a topic that is kind of long. Es un tema que es un poquito, right, extenso. But do not worry, we can handle, okay? Podemos manejarlo, okay? Lo único que tenemos que hacer, chicos, es keep it practice, okay? Estar practicando, you know. So now, let me share you something else, okay? Something extra for tonight. So let's see. So guys, this exercise, okay? So you see we have 10 boxes. Tenemos 10 cajas, okay? So let's see. Let me, you know, open it for you, okay? So let's see. We are going, you know, to make some exercises, you know? So let's see. I'm going to choose one by one, okay? So let's start with Maria. Maria, tell me a number, please. Eh, tengo que elegir un número. Yes, please. Yes. El two. Okay, number two. Okay, 
En este caso, let's see, María, tenemos dos opciones. He is drinking wine or is he drinking wine? Aquí nos está dando una, una, eh, como una opción, right? Drink wine más sin interrogación. ¿Cuál crees que es la correcta? Eh, eh. This one. Ok, en este caso para no confundir, well, you say A, so, no, in this case, si miramos la imagen, nos pide que hagamos una pregunta, okay? que hagamos una pregunta. But do not worry, ok? So, oh, sorry. I hate this sex. No voy a iniciarlo, but do not worry, ok? It's ok. So, But you got what I mean. All sentences were correct. Ambas estaban correctas. Solo que el ejercicio pedía que cogiéramos soon, right? So do not worry about it, okay? So now let's see. Let's make it one more time. Hagamos una vez más, okay? So, but I hate this exercise that take me away, okay? So let's see. Now, Jose, give me a number. Ten. Ten, let's see. Okay. Is he drinking soda? ¿Cuál crees que es la possible answer? Uh, letter B. No, he isn't. He's drinking coffee. Oh, no. In this case, let's see. Yeah, it was this one. So, let's see. Uh, Juan, give me a number. Number seven. Okay. So, they not play soccer. What is the correct answer? Uh, they not play. Sorry, this uh, the exercise that time. So, let's see. Now, guys, uh, well, this was just an example, okay? It's only an example, right? So, now, what we are going to do, guys, is that we are going to make this exercise, okay? So, This one, okay. So now let, let me do it one more time for you, okay. So, tenemos, me pide una oración en positivo, okay. He. So, una oración utilizando el present progressive. So, let's start one more time. So, Maria, what do you think is the correct answer here? ¿Cuál crees que es la respuesta correcta aquí? Yes, Maria. Eh, Permítame un momento que me salí. Okay, it's okay. So, in both, they sound exactly the same. En ambas suena casi igual, pero hay una diferencia en el verbo. En una, el verbo tiene doble y en el otro, no. Tiene doble T, okay? So, let's see what is the correct answer here. Letter B. Ok, José, dice el letter B. What do you think, María? ¿Qué piensas tú? For USA or B, María? Yes? Yes. Yes, B. Ok, so vamos a ver si José estaba correcto y, y no te hizo trampa. So let's see. Yeah, it's letter B. Because, right... It's a verb that doesn't follow the rule para doblar, ¿verdad? So now let's see. So, Jose, help me with this one. Me pide que es una pregunta, para hacer una pregunta. So, what is the correct answer here? Uh, Blair B. Okay, it's say, like, are they sharing a ride? Están ellos compartiendo un viaje. All right. So, guys, let me explain you. So, para formar una pregunta, primero tiene que ir el verbo to be, el sujeto y el verbo ing. Luego el complemento y la question, el signo de interrogación. La A no podía ser porque no va al verbo to be, ¿verdad? No hay verbo to be ni siquiera al principio, right? So, por eso. Y es letter B. Perfect. 
Now let's see, Juan Jose. Now another me pide otra pregunta. What do you think is the correct one here? ¿Cuál crees que es la correcta? B. Letter B. Okay. So, yes, it's letter B. Es la letra B. ¿Por qué? Verbo to be, sujeto y verbo ing. Aquí, verbo to be, verbo ing. No, right? Por eso no era la correcta, porque tiene que ir después el sujeto. So, B. Perfect. Now, let's see. María, this one. Me pide una oración en positivo. What do you think is the correct one? It was like the previous one. Era como el anterior, right? So the only difference is that the verb has WM here and here not. And B. Letter B, okay. And what about the rest? ¿Qué opinamos los demás? Is letter B or A? Letter A. Okay, letter A, Juan. A, A. A. ¿Por qué es A, chicos, si no B? Porque se le va agregando, eh, se le quita, a, eh, bueno, se, se le agrega una M. Yes, se le agrega una M, pero ¿por qué razón, chicos? Ayer lo explicamos, ¿do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan? Because the M, uh -huh. consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel and consonant. Perfect, exactly, yeah. Porque, chicos, tenemos este verbo, ¿ok? Enfoquémonos en el verbo, swim, nadar. So, dice que todos los verbos que terminen en consonante, vocal y consonante, en consonant, vowel consonant, se va a duplicar la última letra, que es la última consonante. So, swimming becomes swimming, ¿ok? Swim, swimming, ¿ok? So, siempre si termina el verbo en consonante, vocal, consonante, se duplica, ¿ok? So for that reason is this one. Perfect, guys. Now let's see. Okay, let's have this one. Vamos esta. Oh, sorry. So let's have this one. Tenemos otra, right? So in this one, let's see. Uh, this is for everybody. Esta para quien sea. Tenemos Sara and Lilia having breakfast. What do you think, guys? A or B? B. Okay, B. It's B because it's plural, right? Sara and Lilia. Perfect. Now let's see this one. He take photos. So wh what do you think, guys? Esta es una oración positiva que me pide. He's taking photos or he's taking photos? Hmm? Para quien sea, guys. Letter, letter A. Letter A, okay. And the rest, what do you think the rest? For the mass, también letter A, or do you think it's letter B? Letter A, okay. So, he's taking photos. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, this one. ¿Por qué? Porque he's, is possessive, right? Now, me pide una pregunta. Drinking wine. Which one, guys? ¿Cuál? B. B, exactly, mm -hmm. because A no es una pregunta, right? A es una afirmación y esto es pregunta. Perfect. Now let's see this one. This one. Is he drinking soda? Okay, we have this one, right? No. Okay. B. B. This one. No. Letter A. Okay. Why is letter A, Jose? Por qué es letter A? Porque la pregunta es si él está bebiendo eh, soda y a él dice que no. Okay. Que él no está haciendo eso, él está bebiendo un café. Perfect. But all of them are, I mean, it says the same, right? Drinking coffee. But what is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estos dos? Porque ambos dicen casi lo mismo. Pero hay algo que, hay algo que es diferente. What is the difference? His. 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 Perfect. Yes. So, the difference, aquí es el es, right, guys? Aquí es el y el verbo to be, right? His. His. Aquí es his. His. Recordemos 
que significa su de él, right? Su de él. That's why it was not, right? No era la vez. Él. Perfect. And now let's see. We are almost finishing. So this one, guys. They see Carl's. Me pide una pregunta. What do you think? Are they singing carols? Are they singing carols? ¿Cuál es la correcta, chicos? A or B? B. Okay, Maria say B. And what about the rest? ¿Y los demás? Yes, okay, B or A? B. B. Yeah, exactly, it's B. ¿Por qué es B? Porque recordemos, para hacer una pregunta, Verbo to be, sujeto, el verbo ing, complemento, y al final agregamos el signo de interrogación, ¿ok? Y aquí no está. Sin el signo de interrogación no es pregunta, right, guys? So, perfect. So, nice, guys. So, well, we finished the exercises. So, guys, how was this exercise for you? ¿Cómo estuvo este ejercicio? ¿Fue más fácil que el anterior or not? Yes, no. Okay, perfect. And so that's very nice, guys. So now let me share you. You know, I have something here for you. So yesterday we were discussing about some verbs, right? So recuerden hablando de estos, right? So um, oh, sorry, it moves. Okay, so this one, right? Do you remember that we were practicing this ones, right? So play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, right? Do you remember, guys? So now, um, well, I don't know if we have a homework. Tenemos una tarea, chicos, para hoy. Juan, do we have a homework? Tenemos una tarea? Yes, no. Juan o José, tenemos una tarea para hoy? Excuse me? Yeah, do we have... Do we have a homework for tonight? Tenemos una tarea. Creo que lo hicimos ayer. I see. So, okay, we finished. Okay, perfect. So, well, very nice, guys, because it was, you know, in order yeah. to make, you know, some sentences. So, perfect. So, now, let me move on, guys, here, okay? So what we are going to do right now, guys, is that we are going to use, again, our notebook. Vamos a utilizar otra nuestro cuaderno. Y lo que vamos a hacer, chicos, is create sentences using these verbs, okay? Vamos a convertir estas palabras en ing, okay? Las vamos a transformar en gerundios, okay? So each one of these words, please take notes on your notebook, okay? For example, word. Aquí vamos a poner si solo lleva ING, si se elimina algo se do, o si se le dobla la última, right or not. This one, the same, okay? Esta es igual. Vamos a ver si se le quita, se le agrega, okay? Al igual que esta, esta y esta, okay? So, Affirmative sentences. Yeah, solo vamos a hacer el, solo vamos a, a cambiar, bueno, el verbo lo vamos a convertir en ING, okay? Work, working, study, studying, die, dying, okay? Like this one. Guys, si no nos recordamos muy bien de las reglas gramaticales, uh, let me send you, déjenme eh, ponerles aquí otra vez dónde están las reglas, ¿ok? Ayer se las envié al grupo de WhatsApp, déjenme marcárselas aquí para que las recuerden, ¿ok? Ahí está la foto, chicos, uh, para que puedan ver y puedan identificar si el verbo, le vamos a quitar la E, le vamos a poner algo más o no con el ING, ¿ok? So let's start doing, please. Empecemos a hacerlas, please. En el cuadernito, right, solo escribámosla y convertámosla en ING, ¿ok?
Ah, which die. Die. Die means morir, okay, morir, die. Okay, so do we finish, guys? Terminamos. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's see. So then, Juan, help me with the first one, work. ¿Cómo quedaría? Quedaría como agregando la ING, working. Okay, so let me, sorry. It, uh, se los atrabó with a second, but yes. Solo work, solo le agregamos y en el right? It's working. So, okay, well, but yes, it's, it's that one. So, sorry, okay, perfect. Sorry. Teacher, yeah? No íbamos a hacer oraciones. No. Ah, uh, no, no, not right now. Ahorita no. Eso iba a ser para después, pero if you did it well, that's, that's excellent. Pero ahorita salimos a convertirlas en y en el okay? So, now, uh, let's see, uh, Maria, the second one, study, ¿cómo quedaría? Uh, the microphone, Maria. Quedaría de student. Student, like this, así. O le quitamos algo. Here, like this, Maria. Así. La Y. La Y. Así. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. And what about the rest? ¿Lo demás? ¿Así queda? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Who say yes? Okay, Juan. Jose, así queda? Yes. Sí. Yes. Creo que no. Ok. Ya so, se falta la I. La I. La I, la I o la Y? La Y. Away. Ok. So, yes, guys. In this case, in este caso, exactly. Las que terminan en Y, por ejemplo, play. Solo le agregamos ING. So it's playing, okay? Playing like this. So it's a starting, right? This one. So now let's see this one. Die. Jose, help me with this one. Die. Again? Uh, Así? No. ¿Qué se uh, erase A. E. E. Así. Like this one? Yes? Yes, I think so. Okay, and what about the rest? ¿Y qué pasa con los demás? ¿Así, así queda? Yes, no? <coughs> María o Juan, ¿así queda o no? No, se elimina... ¿Qué ver? La que está antes de la Y. Ok, la que está antes de la Y, la I, la que I. es uh -huh. I, I in English, right? Dying. <laughs> so, correct, Maria. Yeah, it's this one. Es así, chicos. Recordemos que todas las que terminen en IE, vamos a quitar IE y le vamos a agregar Y, E-I-N-G, ok? So, guys, 
check the WhatsApp group, please. Vinimos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yo les mandé esta imagen, right? Esta imagen se las mandé y les puse un puntito ahí para que la guardaran, right? Para que miremos bien cómo son las reglas, ¿ok? Perfect, Maria. Now let's see. Juan, help me with this one, please. Travel. Oh, yeah. The microphone, Juan. Traveling. Que okay, ya yeah, traveling, ya yeah, es traveling. Así, chicos. Is that okay? Así está yes, bien. Traveling. Like this one. Are you sure? Así está bien para todos. Yes. Okay, yes. so in this case, let me tell you it's not. Why, guys? Double. Double yes. Double. Do you remember this one? Recordemos. Los que terminan en consonante, vocal y consonante, se doblaba la última letra, right? So in this case, doblamos la L, traveling. Okay. Remember that, that guy, okay? Now let's see this one. ¿Cuál creen que es la correcta? Sí. ¿Cómo quedaría, chicos? Sí. 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 ¿Así? Eliminando una E. Eliminamos una E. Ok. Like this. Así. Ok. And the rest. ¿Qué pensamos los demás? Así es, chicos. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. Okay. So, now guys, in this case, el verbo se deja así. Si el verbo termina en doble E, solo se le agrega ING, ok? ING. Ayer creo que Jonathan me preguntó si el verbo este se le agregaba ING o se le eliminaba la E. And I told him, y le dije de que no, que el verbo quedaba así. I sing. Ok. So... Okay, guys, we have to be careful in this. Now we have this one, wash. What do you think, guys? ¿Cómo es esto, chicos? ¿Cómo quedaría? ING. Washing. ING. Washing. Así, chicos? Yeah, it's like this. Perfect. Nice. Now the last one, right. What do you think? Writing. Okay. Así, chicos. Yes. Like this. No, se elimina la E. Elimina la E. Perfect, yes. Los verbos que terminan solo en E, chicos, se elimina la E y se le agrega ING. So, right. Okay. Like this one. Perfect, guys. So, okay, guys, yesterday, well, My recommendation for you guys, mi recomendación es de que yo sé que ese tema es bastante larguito y todo eso. However, we have to study, okay? So my recommendation is that you can look in the internet, okay? Le mandé igual un link para que visitáramos la página, right? Donde también podemos ver información. Chicos, si ustedes también tienen dudas con esto, pueden ver la foto que les envié o pueden también buscar en internet. ¿Cuáles son las reglas del ING, ok? O del gerundio, ok? Pueden poner internet, pueden googlearlo, pueden poner, for example, uh, present progressive, right? Present progressive rules. No sé por qué me está fallando. So, present progressive rules, ok? Así. Y pueden ponerlos en Spanish para que les salga en español, right? Si quieren leerlo en español, right? Present progressive, okay? Porque es lo que estamos viendo, okay? Cómo formar las palabras. But well, guys, now let's see. Um, well, we are short of time. So let me share you now, guys. Uh, we have pending, you know, some exercises. So let's see this one. We have this one, guys. This is a listening, okay? Este es un listening que tenemos. Y nos pregunta, what's Maria doing? ¿Qué significa what's Maria doing, chicos, in Spanish? Or what is Maria doing? ¿Qué está haciendo María? ¿Qué está haciendo María? Perfect. 
Now, guys, what we are going to do is that we have to guess what is she doing, okay? Vamos a tener que identificar qué está haciendo dependiendo del sonido, okay? So let me play the audio for you, okay? Uh, it doesn't let me, porque no me deja nunca. Let me reload it, déjeme recargarlo, refresh it. So let's see. Vamos a adivinar, chicos, qué está haciendo. But let me ask you something. Did you finish this exercise already? ¿Ya hemos terminado este ejercicio alguno de ustedes? Yes, no? Me. But okay. the last, the two last, I... You failed. Tengo mal. Ah, you, sí. you, have, you have the wrong, okay? So do not worry. We are going to see, okay? This one's Okay, so let's see if I can play the audio. I was perfect. So let's... Answer questions about each sound. One. Okay, tenemos el primer sonido. ¿Qué creen que está Maria doing? What's Maria doing, guys? Conduciendo. Mari is... ¿Qué sería, chicos, entonces? Driving. Driving, okay, driving. Conduciendo, perfect. Now let's see the second sound. Two. Three. Okay, sorry. It doesn't stop it. But let's see what is doing in the second one, guys. ¿Qué está haciendo Mary? Mary is swimming swimming perfect and well let's see three okay que estaba haciendo aquí mary mary is Eating. It's eating, okay. Or it can be also in the restaurant, but let's see. Uh, now let's see the next one. <laughs> next Wednesday night. Okay, so what is she doing? Mary is watching TV. Watching TV, perfect. Now let's see. Let's focus on the last one, okay? Because we have two bands. Let's see. What is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Dancing. Dancing, perfect. Now let's see. Six. Okay, what is she doing? Riding a bike. He's riding a bike. Okay, so we have now the last two, right? Let's see. Seven. Okay, what was she doing? ¿Qué estaba haciendo? Playing. Okay, and what was she playing? ¿Qué estaba jugando ella, chicos? Acord tennis. She was, she's playing tennis, right? Tennis. O oh, podría ser otro deporte, but let's see. The last one. No, it doesn't let me play well. So, let's see, guys. Uh, we are according to this one, guys. Estamos de acuerdo con estas, right? So let's see what do we have here. So 
She's playing, okay, yeah, it was tennis. She's playing tennis, okay? So guys, ustedes pueden poner she's, like de esta forma, she's playing tennis. She is playing tennis, okay? Now we have, is she's riding a bike, perfect. She's dancing, nice. She's watching television, okay? Podemos ponerlo de varias formas, okay? O TV. Pueden poner TV o television. O simplemente podían poner watching television, okay? And aquí in this one, she's eating or simplemente eating, right? And in this one, she's swimming. Perfect. Nice, Teacher. guys. Yeah. Pero, bueno, yo la siete la, la puesto, she's playing tennis, y me sale mala. Like this one. Como así. Pero tenis, sí, pusiste con que... doble N. ¿Te fijaste en eso? Sí. Really? So, sí. ok. And what about the rest? ¿Los demás ya lo hemos hecho así o no? No. Ok, so, in this case, lo que quiero, chicos, es que háganlo así, ok, chicos. Pónganlo de esta manera. Y si les sale mal, eh, díganme, ok. Díganme, ah, pero, well, I'm seeing something. Bueno, ah... Uh, Creo que, bueno, no le podemos poner Mary, ¿ok? Le tenemos que poner she, ¿ok? Si te das cuenta, she. She is, no, pero, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Así lo tengo, she is playing. Todas las he puesto con she y, y, y me sale malo. Really? Ok. So, bueno, en este caso, uh, please send me a picture. Mándame una foto de cómo la tienes. No sé si te queda guardado ahí. Me mandas una foto a, a, a mí al privado y voy a revisar eso, ¿ok? Con, con los demás. Y chicos, igual quiero que ustedes lo terminen y quiero que me manden una foto, ¿ok? Quiero que me manden una foto si la número 7 le salió mal, si ustedes ponieron, pusieron esto, ¿ok? She's playing tennis y le sale mal, díganme, ¿ok? So, podemos ver eso y revisar, ¿ok? So, thank you, Jose, for telling me that. Please send me the picture, ¿ok? So, now let's see, guys. Um, well, uh, we have the last, you know, exercise for tonight. Tenemos el último ejercicio para ahora, chicos. And this is a reading, ¿ok? This is a reading part, ¿ok? So, uh, bueno, let's see. I have here bigger for you. Tenemos más grande esta imagen. Let me see. So, here I have it. So, guys, here I have this conversation, ¿ok? So, friends across the county, ¿ok? So, we have this one. We have Meg. Got you, right? So let's see. Um, Maria and Juan, help me read in this, please. Maria, you're going to be Meg, and Juan, you're going to be Katy, okay? So let's start. <coughs> yes, Maria? Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed on my bed while my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you work, working? And I'm writing uh, writing an issue for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where are you? I in a uh, inter coffee right, my friend Carmen. I am winning coffee and she's reading. Uh, Masini, who is your family? They are fine. My brothers, my brothers, working outside. He's mowing, mowing the nails. My mother is out shopping. Where is your brother? John's not home. He is playing soccer in the park. Oh, what? Wait, my 
my mother is my mother is home she is uh, calling calling me i have to go okay bye bye okay perfect guys do not worry about the pronunciation we are going you know to review this but guys uh you know i'm worried right now estoy preocupado so guys please uh what we're going to do right now i know it's out of time ya estamos fuera de tiempo vamos a poder terminar este ejercicio pero mañana lo vamos a realizar okay in a platform pero guys lo que quiero que hagamos ahorita es de que si podemos irnos a la plataforma okay ahorita Necesito que hagamos el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, ¿ok? Porque o sea, ella me mandó una foto y al parecer él escribió bien, right? Pero la máquina le sale que está mal, right? So quiero ver si a ustedes también les da ese problema, ¿ok? So if you can do it right now, please, guys, and tell me if you got it wrong. Si pueden hacerlo, chicos, y decirme si la tienen mal o no, ¿ok? So let's see. Uh, let me see what's wrong here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, what happened here? She's typing. So it's the exercise unit five. It's the one, two, three, the fourth. Okay. okay. Let's see, guys. Please do it. Ah, uh, Jose, has intentado poner otras respuestas, como otras opciones, como, for example, ah, uh, playing tennis. Solo poniendo playing tennis. I try. You try it. O lo vas a intentar. I try. Okay. Perfect. Try it, please. Eh, lo demás, tratémoslo de hacerlo, right? Please. Well, uh, let's see. Well, guys, it looks like well because it's out of time, right? Ya estamos fuera de tiempo, chicos. Uh, guys, please. Um, well, let's see nice. if. ¿Te salió bien? Sí, Compliant Tennis, sí. Compliant Tennis. ¿Y las demás? She's, las demás, si puedes poner, uh, she's, o oh, typing, solo typing, tal vez se lo doy. Las demás, las demás sí las tenía bien, solo esas siete ah, las solo tenía problemas. Ok, sí. so Playing Tennis. Ok, guys, um, chicos, los demás tratemos de poner she's playing tennis, ok. Si no les agarra she's playing tennis, pongamos solo playing tennis, ¿ok? Pero intentemos primero con she's playing tennis, ¿ok? With that one. So, because... Está bien extraño porque nadie más me ha reportado eso. No sé si los demás, los otros de la clase, um, no tuvieron un inconvenience, o I don't know, but... Ok, so guys, if you have an inconvenience, si tienen algún inconveniente, si no les agarra she's playing tennis, por favor, escríbanme y díganme que no les agarro, ¿ok? So guys, uh, well, today, you know, time is over. Yeah, so guys, I see you tomorrow, okay? Nos vemos mañana. Recuerden, mañana is the last day, okay? El último día ya del módulo. So mañana nos despedimos, ¿verdad? Vamos a comer pizza y... No, mentira, eso no, pero... <laughs> ya se hayan alegrado. No, guys, no. <laughs> so, pero si quieren pueden comprar pizza en su casa y la comen, right? Como despedida, okay? So, perfect, guys. So... <laughs> Nos vemos mañana, es el último día. Mañana hacemos el examen y terminamos el último ejercicio, ¿ok? So, see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Bye, bye, guys. See you. See you. Bye, bye.